shavers. We were here, no male shaves back with another shaving video. How is everybody today? Hope you're all having a fantastic start to the Memorial Day weekend. I am, I'm off. I got a four day weekend. I had to take some PTO, so I took Friday off. Monday's automatic, and here I am. My poor wife is working, but we're not gonna be talking about that. We're gonna be talking about shaving stuff today. I'm gonna apologize right out the gate. This might be a little bit longer than normal. I know my videos tend to drag on a little bit. I start bullshitting way too much, but it is what it is. Couple of new items, new new products here in the den. Um, base is not new on the soap, but the scent is, and a beautiful, beautiful razor on low. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be a sterling shave. So we're going with the sterling uh, butterscotch fan knot two band badger, and I don't have the label. Um, so a gentleman was Jimco, really, really awesome dude. He sent me some samples. And um, boat drinks was in one of them, Sterling's boat drinks. So I'm gonna be using that. I have the sample pressed into my Captain's Choice bowl here. And I got a blooming, I, I like to bloom my soaps. I treat, I try to do, I do my best to treat samples the same way as I do a jar. So I just mash the whole sample down into the bowl and I just run with it. Now, this is gonna be the, I don't speak French, Pazis de Resistance. We all know Kai Triska, and if you don't, you better. Um, dude is so gracious. This is what's awesome about this community. We've got Jim Combs sending me a shit ton of samples. Chris Bailey, you sent me some samples too. I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to go through those yet, but I will. Keep an eye out for that. But Kai Triska actually let me use one of his Max Spreckers. Look at this bad boy. This is his midi. Mini? Midi? It's about a two, two and a half inch blade length. Um, oh shit. Let me be right back. Sorry about that. I wanted to do a little comparison on uh, this is a regular gold dollar. See that right there? So this is just a standard, fairly cheap gold dollar razor that, that I have been working on. You guys have seen it many times. So let's see here. There's a the difference. <laughs> it's like a baby. Look at that though. Huge difference, so kind of gives you a little perspective on the size of this blade. Beautiful, beautiful wood scales. I don't know much about this. All I know it's it's in the Max Sprecher mini section. Um, I think it's a near wedge grind. Beautiful, beautiful scales. Beautiful, beautiful work. And one thing that I really noticed about this is the the pin. It's actually really, really tight. All my other razors are pretty floppy right there. So we are going to be using this. So. One reason why the shave will take a little bit longer than normal. I've got to be super, super careful with this. It is not mine. It's only on loan. Okay, let me go ahead. I'm going to put this bloom water on my face. And we're going to go ahead and kind of talk a little bit about the scent of the soap while I'm lathering. Mmm. So it's really, really dark. This is a half ounce sample. So Sterling soaps, their sample sizes are about one ounce. Jim sent me half of it. And I don't know what, I, so I tend to get a little bit of a chocolate scent out of it. Um, I forgot my other phone, so I was gonna tell you guys the scent description. But it's got, it's supposed to have coconut, banana, some tangerine. Uh, what else? I don't know what else. I suck at that kind of stuff. So, but I, I, I don't know why I get it. I get a chocolate accord out of it. I don't know. But we're just going to go ahead and start loading. So, my samples, I like to do my best to just treat them as, as they're in a jar. So, I just put a sample in my bowl here and then I load it into my brush and then build the lather on my face. I feel more comfortable with that. And hopefully it doesn't stain my, my brush. I did a quick check on the uh, website. It doesn't say that it stains a brush. And he doesn't recommend a synthetic. No barrister man, they do. On their uh, darker soaps. Yeah, so this is... Oh, it's... Now that I'm... Oh. Oh, that's pretty nice. Am I in 
focus. Now that I'm actually aggravating the soap and you know getting some soap loaded into the brush, the scent has changed. Okay. I get the banana. I get the banana now. I don't I don't get that chocolatiness anymore. Man, that's pretty cool. I'm just hoping I don't get any sort of reaction from this. So maybe a little bit more, a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, I get now I get the banana out of it. Man, this is look at that beautiful cream. You guys watch um, Shaving with Chief? That guy got a couple of beautiful razors in. Beautiful. I think he just posted. <clears throat> excuse me. I think he just posted on Instagram uh, an Osiris blade now. So what I'll do is I'll use this a few more times. There it is. Made a little dent into it. You guys, those of you who have been following me for a little while know that any anytime I get a new razor in, I always have to do the shave with Sterling. I just have to. It's it's like law in my in my den. I know Sterling very well. I know they're, it's always going to give me a good shave. Now, unfortunately, I've had a couple cases where <clears throat> the um, scents did not agree with my skin. Which is rather unfortunate. But it is what it is. It happens. Man, I haven't even started to build this yet. I already have some nice Ring of goodness. Look at that. Been a while since I used this brush, too. Water. Yeah, look at that. Man, you cannot beat Sterling for price versus performance. It's a lot. Let me add a little bit of water in here. Just paint some water in. Ooh. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I was just chatting with Kai the other day, and he's like, you know what? I'm just going to send you my razor so you can check it out. <laughs> I'm like, what? No. So I am scared. He um, touched up the edge on his Jaina. <clears throat> he has a uh, Nakayama. Yeah, Nakayama. Okay. Make sure my hands are dry. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've never used a, a razor this big before. Well, not that had a good edge. I've, I've tried some near wedges before, but the edges weren't shit. All right, here we go. First pass with the grain. Wow. Wow. Kai, that's a pretty good edge. It's a lot better than anything I've done yet. Alright, here's a test. Oop. I can't. So I'm, I'm rinsing it with the blade down like this so no water leaks back up into the pin. <clears throat> I still haven't had an edge yet where I can kind of like one continuous stroke go through my beard hair. 
but this is close. Really close. This is a comfortable edge. God dang. I like my edges sharp. And finding that balance of sharpness and smoothness, it's hard. But so far for me, Jane, that's, that's, the, that's the ticket. The 9112K is a pretty good edge. Now, since I have this in my right hand still, I'm gonna go ahead and do my upstroke here. I got a ingrown or a pimple right here. I'm gonna. Yep, yep, I just got it. Lather is well, well hydrated. Go ahead, can't see. Hopefully you, guys, you, you, hopefully you guys can see. I don't pay enough attention to my sideburns like I should. Man, the scent of this soap is beautiful. I, okay, so... I don't like um, really overly sweet scents. This one is sweet, but it's not that sickly sweet that I was expecting from the banana and the coconut, right? Kai said to give this um, maybe 10 laps on the straw, and that's what I did. I like the size of this blade. Two, two and a half, I think. All right, let me rinse it. <clears throat> let me dry this off. Yeah, like I said, I'm being extra careful with this. It's not mine. Okay. Can't get over how tight that pin is. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot. So knock on wood, I'm not getting too much irritation from the soap. Scent strength is probably, <clears throat> after lathered, hanging around the five, six. It's nice. Really good um, balance. <clears throat> I, th I, did, I forgot to finish my thought. <clears throat> not a big fan of, um, let's make sure my hand is going right, really sweet soaps. And I was a little bit worried when I when I first pressed the sample into my into my bowl. I was really hesitant on the chocolate I was getting out of it. I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna like this. But now that I have it lathered up and I'm on my face, I get the tropical aspect out of it. <clears throat> it's not sickly sweet. I don't. I'm not a fan of coconut scented soaps, um, but it's blended pretty well. There's some rum in there too. This I think this song was or this song this soap was inspired by this song.
cross grain is another good indication that the edge is going to be nice. So far. So good. Got to watch out for that pimple. <clears throat> like I said, I'm doing my best to keep my hands extra dry. This is nice. I started looking at Max Sprecher's site. Get an idea of what a custom razor would cost. Not this year. But what I want, I didn't see the options on his site. So... I'd have to ping him and see what, what can be done. This is a nice size blade. I like it. All right. Now we're going to try for... I'm going to do one pass with the grain here. So two days ago I shaved. And I shaved with my commissory to check out the edge. I did a complete shave with it. A little bit rough here and rough here normal spots for me, but I did tag my chin. So I'm a little afraid to open it up right there. Sorry for the silence. Rinse off, and then I'm gonna come back for my final touch up slash against the grain pass. Is boat drinks for me? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'd have to use it again to see how it... <clears throat> see how the smell affects me on a different day. But lathered up, I, I, I'm kind of enjoying it. But it's not something that's in my wheelhouse. If that makes any sense. All right, here we go. So now, okay, Kai, we got to test against the grain. Not too bad. So the Nakayama edge is actually kind of similar to my um, Ozuku. But this is also a different razor. So it's not a fair comparison, I don't think. <clears throat> Does struggle against the grain. kind of jealous because when Kai shades man it's just like whew, I can't shit 
I don't know if it's my technique or just the coarseness of my beard. You know what I mean? Man, I missed a lot of hair right here. I don't want to have to resort to strop to paste and stuff. I just don't. Just got to figure out how to make those edges really smooth. And sharp. Not bad though. It's not a bad edge, Kai. Not bad at all. Does struggle a little bit against my grain, my grain. Oh man, I'm gonna. Here it comes the bloodbath. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Uh. So I'm not gonna try going against the grain on my cheeks and stuff like that. I don't think it'll work out. Yep, nope, 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 nope. Beautiful razor, beautiful razor. I'm gonna call that done for now. So I totally missed right here because I was afraid of whacking off that, um, whatchamacallit, that pimple or ingrown or whatever. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to do this little, my typical face wash here just to see if I get any sort of reactions out of the soap. And just kind of feel around to see how shitty of a shave I have. Just kidding. No, the shave is actually pretty good. It's all my fault. A little bit rough here. Rinse off my brush really quick. <clears throat> okay. So just really quick, at the end of the shave here, now that I have the soap sitting on my face, I'm starting to feel a little bit of, of irritation, a little bit in the stash, and then those places where I, I have overshaved. So, I can't say if it's soap or just my my lack of skill on shaving. Be right back. I can't complain about that shape too much. Not at all. It's pretty cool to be able to uh, check out his edges. <clears throat> right, yeah. So, really nice edge. I, I man, I, it's. I always struggle in my chin area and right here, right here. It's just really, really coarse. And um, unfortunately, <clears throat> not quite sharp enough to slice all the way through it. But Kai, it's a really good edge. It's it's comfortable. It's 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 sharp. It's comfortable. Um, now I have an idea how it compares to an Ozuku edge, kind of. They're actually pretty similar. <clears throat> I know you're. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to homing stones. You you seem to. <laughs> it's a good edge. Really good job, my friend. And I man, thank you so much. I'll probably do this. Use this razor one more time. I'll give it. A few more laps on the um, on the strop, and then um, 
I'll, I'll have to send it off because it's not mine and I, I don't want to keep it too long. All right, quick little recap. Brush Sterling Butterscotch. This is the older one. He's got some new ones there with some new knots. So go ahead and check them out. <laughs> Boat drinks. This is what it looks like mashed up in a bowl. It, it's it's a pleasant scent. Um, it is definitely tropical. I'm not, like I said, I'm not too much into tropical type scents. I don't like the coconut and, and the banana stuff, but it mixes together pretty well. Um, I, I really understand the vibe he was going for. I get it, and it does come through. It really does. Is it for me? Not so much, because I'm not so much into foodie type soaps, right? You know, like gourmands or something. And this is, I think, very, very similar to what gourmand would be. And let me make sure my hands are dry. <clears throat> I have a little towel that I'm setting this on over here. So this is a Max Sprecher. Very graciously and kindly loaned on me from Kai Triska. A uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful razor. It's beautiful. I gotta make sure I dry that off really good. So it was a good shave. Um, I can't complain. Like I, like I mentioned earlier, it's rough here because I was afraid of that stupid ingrown or pimple or whatever the hell it is. But Kai, it's a really good edge. It's nice. <clears throat> thank you so much, dude. I can't thank you enough. It's almost a 30 minute shave. I do, I'm sorry, everybody. I apologize. But I, I warned you it was gonna be a little bit long. But shit i'm happy with this I'm, I'm good i'm good all right that's my shave everybody i'm not going to keep you much longer thanks for joining me man i hope you all enjoyed this as much as i did and i hope i was able to at least give you some sort of entertainment today <laughs> remember everybody as always don't text and drive i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put um um jimco and um kai triska's links down below <clears throat> jimbo thanks again for these samples dude I get a lot of samples now, and I don't know what to do with them all. And I, 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 Chris, if you watch this, I'm sorry, dude. I really owe you a video, so stay tuned for that. Forgive me, brother. Forgive me. All right. Hope everybody, hope everybody has a nice and safe Memorial Day weekend. Remember, Jesus loves all of us. He died for our sins. Love you all. Don't text and drive. Bye.